Okay, welcome back to the channel. I just want to start this off by saying thank you to every single person that supported the prep, whether it be on social media, in person, the comments, the DMs, the conversations, those go a long way. Of course, you get the negative shit. Uh, we try not to let that affect us, but for the most part, everything was positive and during those dark days on prep, which some of you will know about, those comments can go a long way. They can add a bit of wood to the fire to uh, to keep it burning, to get you through the 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 weeks that you've been uh, shackled to, uh, to a prep. So I just want to say thank you, basically, starting this video off before I get into it, because um, it, it does mean a lot. It does mean a lot, honestly. So it is now uh, three weeks post show. It's the 5th of August, um, three weeks since the end of the 2023 prep. Um, since then, I've had the family holiday, as you can probably tell from the cheeks. <laughs> um, but basically, just to kind of give you a, a brief overview, after the show, obviously, a bit of food went down. That carried on into Sunday. And then on the Monday, because I had like four days till I went away to Turkey, just got back on plan. There was a couple of extras here or there, but uh, cardio was back in, food was back on point, And then we flew out to Turkey on the Friday. Carl sent me my off-season plan around like the Tuesday or Wednesday of that week. Well, a couple of days after the show, actually. Um, I didn't start the food because it was like starting quite high and I didn't want to go away to Turkey even more bloated than I already was after the binge. So I just stayed on the same food, started the training, just kind of dabbled with it. And then when I went to Turkey, because I didn't have much involvement in booking this holiday, if I'm honest, um, I didn't know where we were staying. All I knew was that I needed to be ready by half nine on the Friday to go to the airport. So when I got to the hotel in Turkey, obviously you have a check out of the gym and it was horrendous. There was a lap pull down, there was about four different weights of fucking dumbbells, which were like 7.5s, 10s and 12s or something. So I text Carl and I was like, look, mate, the gym is horrendous. Shall I just take the week off from training? I'm happy to go to a gym if you want me to go to a gym to get this crack in. Or shall I rest and just do some cardio and concentrate on output? And concentrate on relaxing, more importantly. And he said, yes, definitely. There's plenty of time to smash the body. So that's what I did. I took a week off from bodybuilding, training, did about four sessions of cardio on the bike. Um, and then in terms of food, it was quite reasonable. Like, to be honest, I'm so focused on this at the moment. It was like, I definitely switched off from it. But for like the early part of the day, like I was staying away from the pastries, the pancakes. I was just going in with pro fats for breakfast. Lunchtime I was doing like chicken, salad, potatoes, whatever was going there. Um, I'd have a small dessert maybe. And then I just had a time in my head of 3 p.m. And after 3 p.m. I was just letting it all go. And then I was going in. So I was kind of backloading, um, backloading the shit food. So that's what I did for like the first four days. And then the remaining, what, two or three days, I literally went to town. I just didn't give a fuck. Went in on the pancakes three liters of Nutella, the lot. So that was the holiday. Got back from there on uh, last Saturday. Weighed and I was 25 pound up from stage. So in two weeks, I put 25 pound on. Obviously you're gonna put like 10 to 15 pound on anyway, like whether you binge or not, just like filling back up. Um, so 25 pound up and I'm still there now. Like I got back on my off season plan Monday started that fully in terms of the food, which is four and a half thousand calories a day. Uh, the training's been in, we're still doing cardio 25 minutes a day, and the weight hasn't budged. So we, we're kind of stabilized, and if not, maybe recomped at this weight a little bit, dropped all the water, look a little bit tighter. Um, so I've checked in with Carl, so we, we're going to see what the next step is. He's out in Tampa at the moment, so there's no real rush for it. I've had him for every second for the last fucking 20 weeks of that prep, so he can have a couple of days to get back to me while he's traveling. So this video is just to kind of give my um, post prep thoughts, really. In terms of the prep, it was a very successful, smooth prep. Obviously, we had the hiccup where prep was nearly done, you know, in Ireland when I had the cyst on my back and the health scare. Like looking back to that now, I nearly called it a day. 
can you imagine how much of a regret that would have been if if I did call it a day? Because, um, yeah, that would be killing me right now. So I'm glad I stuck to my guns, got it done, persevered and all that. Um, so other than that, it was a smooth prep. Like, we dropped £28 in 19 weeks. That was up until the last show, which was for Dex Leeds. And, um, yeah, I think... You know, the goal, I've said this through the prep, is the goal was to get a first call out in a heavyweight lineup, um, which I got on the first show. And I came third, obviously. And then, you know, we walked away ultimately with four first places, like obviously two in the Masters over 35s, which we'll just put to one side because it was just me in the class. But, um, you know, two legit first places in a heavyweight lineup, which. Looking back now, I'm over the moon with because that succeeded my expectations. It has. Um, to say that I'm not, not bitter is not the word, but I don't feel a certain way about the overalls would be a lie just because the feedback that I got from people in the audience, unbiased people, um, judges, footage of watch back pictures, you know, I pushed, I pushed Luca, like, to be fair, and Luca, if you were watching this, you know, you got all my respect, mate, but I did push him, and I think, you know, on the day, condition-wise, I was better than him, but ultimately, he's a better bodybuilder, he's, um, he's got better structure, better muscle bellies, better shape, and he has got the potential to go very far in the sport, and then he flew out to Portugal the week after that show and turned pro. And all I had was messages from people saying, you should have gone to Portugal, you could have turned pro. It's like, no, I, I think I would have got swallowed up in Portugal because he, he definitely fitted in more out there. Uh, and he actually brought a tight package as well. I think he'll agree with that. So, you know, that was a close one. It was a close one. It would have been so good to uh, to win that overall on, on Welsh turf and to actually beat Luca at it because obviously he's such a good bodybuilder. Um, you know, that would have been... He was the only name I had in my head when I was going into that show that I would have to go up against. So that, that's that one. And then, you know, moving into the last show, which is the FitX Leeds, that one hurt. It took me a while to actually get over that. I might, I'm not even sure if I'm over it now, three weeks later. Because even, I, am, I find myself, like yesterday, I was driving to a shoot uh, on a two and a half hour drive and that was like some of the, the thoughts in my head was thinking back to that overall and thinking back what if I'd won it. Like, the time is right when the time is right. I spoke to Oscar quite a bit and he's like, you know, you are where you need to be right now, which which is it's fine to hear, but to accept it is it's quite difficult. Um, it was a very, very close decision, I think. I think it was like one point or something between me and Ryan. Um, yeah, he definitely deserved the overall on the day, I think, just because of the structure. But just looking back to like my condition on that show and some of the pictures, it's like... Pfft. And even now, I've, I've had people message me about it, but it is what it is. It's bodybuilding. You can't change it. The, the, the moment's gone now. The moment's gone. You can't get caught up on it. But what you can do is use that as fuel, and that's exactly where I'm at with my head now. It's like, I'm going to chip on my shoulder about it, because I've got nothing but respect for the boys, uh, and they know that, we're all cool, but it's just like, it's not personal, it's just like, fuck, I need to fucking get this done, like, and after uh, this year, I think I've kind of realised, not realised my potential, but realised what I want out of this, and obviously there is still a shelf life for me to do this in, so I've I've got to go even harder and I want to go even harder at it and that's why this focus post show is like so like tunnel visioned at the moment because I am ready to fucking build, grow, work and you know I've lost out twice on structure unfortunately I can't change my god given structure my bone structure is my bone structure but what I can change is the tissue that's on the frame like I did last year where I put 10 pounds on like I've did over the last seven years where I've added 60 pound to my frame the goal now is to go away put the tissue on to make it undeniable really because at the moment i've i've actually beaten boys that are considerably heavier than me 
um, based on the, the package that I bring. So if I can put a stone or 10 to 14 pounds on of muscle, by the time I step on stage next time, then it's just gonna be undeniable. Um, you know, I don't wanna walk out on stage and turn heads. I've said this a couple of times. I, I wanna walk out on stage and I wanna fucking break necks. That's what I wanna do next time I step up, up on stage. And I think the potential is there for it just because of the way I saw people reacting to me at these shows. Um, even when I was backstage with the boys, you know, that I was competing against in the overall at FedEx, they were saying it, I could see it in their faces. You know, when you're walking backstage, there's mirrors everywhere. You're kind of walking around pumping up, you got your headphones on and you're catching glimpses of people looking at you in the mirror and you can see it in their face. And it's like, one thing I've noticed this year is that not a lot of people have that on stage whether it comes down to the training or the dig that they're not prepared to do. Um, but I know what I'm prepared to do and I know what I'm capable of doing. So that's that's the goal for me now for next year. It sounds quite like, you know, I don't know, fighting talk, but that's what it is now. I've got like a year or just over a year to, uh, to back up my bullshit, really. So the plan, uh, off season started, we're doing a health phase for six weeks see what comes back from that. If that's all good, then we begin the real off season. And uh, the plan in my head is to do a longer off season than last year. It's gonna be a prep style off season. There's gonna be balance, of course, but I'm gonna be drilled in on this like a prep. Carl knows that. The last off season that I did with Carl, and I think Carl would agree with this, it was a bit of a, a looser coaching client relationship where I was, you know, it wasn't like religiously checking in. It was like pictures sent over every few weeks, very relaxed, and I was still able to put 10 pound on. So with Cal fully at the helm and me fully zoned in like I am now, um, he said he wants 10 to 15 pound on me by the time I step on stage next year. So we're gonna do later shows next year. We're gonna do a couple of UK shows and then the ultimate goal what happens after that, we can't talk about that, but the ultimate goal is to do a European show, and the one I've got my eyes on is uh, is in Italy. And this is gonna be the first and last time I talk about that now, until prep next year. So, if you're watching this, and you're still watching my videos next year, remember this moment, because that's the goal, is to do the Amateur Olympia in Italy around October, November time. I'm not sure on the dates yet, but. Um, and then that, depending on what happens at that show, will determine what happens after that with me as a bodybuilder. Um, but regardless, it'll be a good show to go out on if that is the last ever show. Take the misses, compete in the show, stay there a few days, finish up in Italy. It's, uh, it'll be a nice way to close the book on it, but we'll see what happens in Italy next year. But apart from that, there's just work to be done. So YouTube's gonna continue. I'll be uh, documenting the off-season, one every two weeks, one every week, see how much I can do, depending on my schedule. I will also be showing what I'm up to with Magic Eye. I've got like three European trips coming up in the next six weeks, so I'm gonna attempt to vlog those. Um, and other than that, it's time for me to go train and uh, get this work done that I'm talking the big talk about. So thank you very much once again to everyone that followed the prep everyone that messages, everyone that supports, it goes a long way. To those of you who don't, I don't give a fuck. And that's it. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the bell for the notifications of when I upload my next uploads. Check out the Beautiful Struggle podcast. There's going to be new episodes available very soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.